So people, Solstice of Heroes arrives on July 30th and with it comes a whole new area for us to explore, many new items for us to work towards and an event which hopefully will last the stretch between now and the Shadow Keep. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out the video. If you enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos. Okay, so a new trailer for Solstice has not long dropped and although it doesn't tell us much about the event, it basically shows us what we will be able to earn in terms of emotes, armors and a few other bits. Check it out on screen now. This year, we have something special. Okay, so like I said, not much is given away in terms of what this event will offer, but luckily for you guys, I have plenty of more details on this event. What it comes with consists of and a look at some of the exclusive gear you will be able to earn. Okay, so the Solstice event will start with a quest which is given to you by Eva Lavante, who is in her usual spot in the tower and she first sends you to a new area coming with this event called the European Aerial Zone. This is a new area within the sky on the EDZ by the Winding Cove I believe. And upon checking this new area out we return to Eva Lavante who gives us a set of armour called the Drained Armour. Details about this quest can be seen on screen now. So the armour is our main focus with this event and there are three stages to this armour and we have to basically evolve it via doing certain challenges. These can be seen on screen now. The armor starts as the drain set, then it moves up to the renewed set and then up to the majestic versions. Each armor piece and each challenge for each character can be seen on screen now. Feel free to pause the video or screenshot it for future purposes. So as you will see, some of the challenges to level up said armor isn't as straightforward as you might think. It would definitely take a grind, a welcome grind in my opinion. So you can see the armor and what it will look like on the screen now evolving through those stages. Also you will be able to apply glows to make them look even more epic. Once you've earned legendary solstice armor, solstice packages will reward you with additional armor so you can hunt for those with enhanced perks. Armor glows will be available for you to add to your solstice of heroes armor sets. They will show up on any version of the set to provide guardians with an enhanced lock. Armor glows shine brightest when your subclass element aligns with the element of the glow. You will be able to purchase entire sets for silver or bright dust via the store. Armor glows will remain available for use after the solstice Solstice of Heroes event ends. Collecting all the Solstice Legendary Armor sets on all three classes will give you access to the EV37 Void Streak Sparrow. So what about the European Aerial Zone? What else do we know about it? Well we do know it consists of seven different zones. The Meditation Grounds, the Ruin, the Town, the Factory, the Moor, the Garage and the Courtyard. And also within the trailer we see the mention of powerful Elemental Day buffs. This I can further elaborate on. Each day a different energy will fill the air and allow you to become empowered. Solar energies blast through the EAZ, filling the air with a smell of some baked earth. Arc energies crackle through the EAZ, filling the air with a smell of ozone. Void energies pull through the EAZ, filling the air with a smell of potential. While these are active, you can run similar energies to generate orbs. Equip your solar subclass and weapons to generate solar orbs, then collect them to become solar empowered. While empowered, guardians emit a burning wave of energy that damages anything around them. Equip your arc subclass and weapons to generate arc orbs, collect them to become arc empowered. While empowered, guardians move with enhanced speed and deal greater melee and sword damage. Void. Equip your Void subclass and weapons to generate Void orbs, then collect them to become Void Empowered. Crouch while empowered to become invisible and gain True Sight plus Enhanced Ability Regeneration. These effects will last for a short time or until you are defeated by your enemies. Have no fear, these buffs will not be active in Competitive or Gambit Prime. 
so they do sample pretty cool if you ask me. There will also be Solstice packages, these to open them you will need to combine them with uh, Solstice key fragments. These key fragments it seems will be tied with a consumable that is rewarded by Eva called the Fragment Magnet. And this consumable attracts Solstice key fragments at an alarming rate. Another addition to the grind factor we all love people. These Solstice packages reward also rare and legendary gear, enhancement cores and materials. Now as with most events there will also be a new offering from the Eververse store. There won't be an event engram this year, instead every single item will be available for direct purchase using silver and bright dust. All eververse items will be available for bright dust at some point during the event. Here are some of the items you will be able to purchase people and look how amazing some of these look. That beach ball gold shell, I need that in my life. But guys, that's basically it. Sources for Heroes starts on July 30th and ends on August 27th. Now, if you want to read through an interesting Reddit post which literally covers everything about this event, you will find it linked within the video description. So do check it out. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.